Michael, it must be um, a nice feeling to be sitting there with a the win behind you. Yep, better than my last few press conferences. Um, yeah, it is a good start to the series for us. It's an important series. Um, as I said before, we haven't performed as well as we'd like, certainly in the shorter form of the game over in the UK for the past few years. So, um, yeah, today's only the start, though. We've got three more really important games, and, and hopefully we can, we can continue to perform the way we have. Even though England have got a slightly changed one-day side, I guess it's still quite important that you guys put in the yeah, I think their team is very strong. Um, I think there's a lot of players in that England team that, whether they're full strength or not, would be would be selected if I was a selector. Um, that's for sure. So yeah, to me, it, for us, the Australian team, it's about making sure we're looking after our own backyard and playing to top the type of cricket that we've played so far today and what we did in Scotland and having some success. But I think the England team's quite strong, to be honest. What's most pleasing about the way you've prepared? These games. Oh, look, winning's always pleasing. I think that's probably the one thing that I've um, emphasised to to the test boys, but also the one-day guys. That sometimes it might look pretty or it might feel great, but if you get over the line, get that winning feeling. Um, it's a nice side. It's a nice side of the fence to be on. That's for sure. And individually, how was that for you today? Uh, it was nice to contribute. I'd like to play every test and every one day at Manchester. I seem to be scoring some runs here. So, um, yeah, it's about trying to help the team win. So, fortunately today, I, I played my part. Is that as, a compl I mean, is that as, as complete a performance as you've had on the tour today? Everyone seemed to contribute. Uh, well, I think <coughs> in regards to the test matches, I think we showed in patches some really good cricket. Um, I think our performance today was, like I say, it was a good start. I, I, don't, I certainly don't want to, um, we won't take anything for granted and I don't want to look too far ahead, but I think at the end of the day, it's, it's nice to have, to have won a game against England on this tour. It's been a long, long summer, Michael. Like, Australia had three Prime Ministers since you guys <laughs> left home. Um, it's been great for you, finally as captain, to get your first win against England. Yeah, it's nice. Like I say, it's, it's nice that we played the way we did. Everybody contributed today, everybody played a part. Um, Still three very important games, but it's a nice feeling to be sitting here um, having won the first one of, of this series. The balance of England sides, because it's all very three that bowlers. Uh, I wouldn't say only three. I think Trebles are an out and out. Well, including Trebles, are yeah. Stokes, all rounder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not really. I think every team fights with that. You try and strengthen your batting, but you want to keep your legitimate bowlers as well. It's a tough one. Um, Again, I think England have got a lot of destructive players, so I think, you know, for us taking wickets was crucial throughout our bowling innings, um, and batting as well as we could to set a, a target to to make the England batters take risks is something we're going to have to continue to do throughout this series. So no, I I wasn't surprised by their team. I wasn't surprised that they <coughs> they bowled first. I think they've been doing that a lot in the shorter form of the game um, for a while now. So. Yeah, like I said, we've just got to make sure we keep working hard and keep trying to get better because there's no doubt England will get better from today. I think you and George put on 155 for the fourth wicket, double quick time. It was a great partnership, wasn't it? Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's always good to spend time in the middle with um, with Bales. He's a very good player. I thought he struck the ball really well today, so that's a positive sign for the team going forward as well. And just to wait on Mitchell Johnson as well, that terrific spell, wasn't it? He bowled really well, yeah. I think he's, he's bowling with good pace and he swung the new ball, so... They're positive signs for, for not only Mitch, but Australian cricket going forward, that's for sure. Could you see him getting back into the test squad at some stage, the way he's bowling? Oh, look, I think if Mitch continues to bowl the way he's bowling, there's, there's no doubt he, he wants to be a part of all three forms of the game. And all you can do is perform if you're a bowler, take wickets if you're about to score runs, and the selectors will certainly have to think about it. Michael, what do you learn from, uh, from Paul today? Um, yeah, the, the circumstances for him to bowl were good, I suppose, on the um, again, I think his variation is going to be his strength. He spins the ball, he changes his pace. I thought he bowled pretty well today. Um, might not have got as many wickets as he would have liked and might have went for a few more runs. But, you know, with only three fielders out, bowling out the back of the hand, you're always going to go for runs. Um, and I think he handles it extremely well. So I think another good, another good performance from him. Do you think with the benefit of the more, he, he's, he's going to be consistent enough that you can set fields for and plan to get the batsman out? He, he seems to, to, to hit a, hit a length. 
I think I can do that now. I think Monday cricket and 2020 cricket, there's always the batter's always going to take a risk. Um, and like I say, in, in this form, you can only have four fielders out, so it's hard to defend for him. Um, but he's an attacking leg spinner, and he'll look to take wickets um, all the time. Um, you know, he's certainly not intimidated by this level or by the opposition. He's he's excited every time about the opportunity of getting the ball in his hand and bowling. So, um, yeah, I thought he bowled really well today without too much luck.